This is Bishop George Murray. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning and welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant today is Father Jim Corda, President of the Catholic Television Network of Youngstown. I am Brother Dominic Calabro from the Society of St. Paul in Canfield. As we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers Brother Peter Scalise from the Society of St. Paul. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. It's nice to be with you today as we gather to celebrate God's love and presence in the Word, in the Eucharist, and also within us. So together let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us join the angels in their hymn of praise. Glory to God, God in the highest, and, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Before the Lord, the whole universe is as a grain from a balance, or a drop of morning dew come down upon the earth. But you have mercy on all, because you can do all things, and you overlook people's sins that they may re repent. For you love all things that are, and loathe nothing that you have made. For what you hated, you would not have fashioned. And how could a thing remain unless you willed it, or be preserved had it not been called forth by you? But you spare all things because they are yours, O Lord and lover of souls, for your imperishable spirit is in all things. Therefore, you rebuke offenders little by little, warn them and remind them of the sins they are committing, that they may abandon their wickedness and believe in you, O Lord, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial psalm, I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will praise, praise your, your name, name forever, forever my, my King, King and, and my God. God. I will extol you, O God, my King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling 
and raises up all who are bowed down. I will praise, praise your, your name forever, forever my, my King and my God. God. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, we always pray for you that our God may make you worthy of his calling and powerfully bring to fulfillment every good purpose and every effort of faith, that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you and you in him, in accord with the grace of our God and Lord Jesus Christ. We ask you, brothers and sisters, with regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our assembling with him, not to be shaken out of your mind suddenly or to be alarmed either by a spirit or by an oral statement or by a letter allegedly from us or to the effect that the day of the Lord is at hand. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. With your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. At that time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was, but he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass by. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they all saw this, they began to grumble, saying, he has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise My friends, I believe that there is a problem today in the way that we use the word salvation. In the minds and on the lips of people, that word speaks of nothing more than a fire escape from hell and a one-way ticket to heaven. And in between, it has little or nothing to do with your life or my life. Now, I don't know where that idea of salvation got started, but I am absolutely certain it cannot be traced back to the New Testament. In today's Gospel reading, we have an example of what salvation meant to Christ. Remember the story of Zacchaeus, who was the tax collector that climbed the sycamore tree in order to get a better view of Jesus. In the story, Jesus said, Come down, Zacchaeus. I'm going home with you. Now, I have an idea that Zacchaeus was nervous and anxious about his meeting with Jesus. And yet he must have felt so privileged that he was walking home with Jesus at his side. They had dinner together that night. We don't know really what they talked about, but we do know the result of that visit. Something happened to Zacchaeus, and Jesus called that something salvation. My friends, there's nothing magical about that word salvation. Basically, it's just a relationship. The young prophet of Galilee reached out to the tax collector of Jericho, and the tax collector responded with an open home, an open heart, and an open mind. Zacchaeus shared his food with Jesus, and Jesus shared his life with Zacchaeus. In short, they became friends, and that friendship made a difference in Zacchaeus' life. I think, my friends, 
that that is what salvation means. It's a life-changing experience which almost always occurs in a relationship. Today's gospel is really a profound illustration of the transforming power of relationships. It can happen between anyone, but best of all, it can happen between us and Jesus. You and I, of course, cannot see Jesus or touch Jesus with our eyes and hands, but Zacchaeus did. We can, however, cultivate an awareness of his presence. We can open our minds to his truth. We can make room in our hearts for his love. And out of that spiritual relationship can come the transforming experience that you and I call salvation. That experience with Jesus, I think, needs to express itself in two ways. The first is what I call moral rectitude. In other words, the salvation of which we read about and hear about in the New Testament is not magic, it is moral. Zacchaeus could not share his friendship with Jesus and remain a thief at the same time and neither can you or I. You see, the first expression of our salvation is what it does to our moral character. I think the other thing salvation means is social responsibility. In other words, remember that Zacchaeus made a pledge to give half of his belongings to the poor. Whatever the reason, we can be sure of this. No one can enter into a real relationship with Christ and remain indifferent to human need at the same time. The salvation which Jesus came to accomplish in your life and my life will always express itself in terms of social responsibility. To walk with Jesus is to get involved with people. Now, Zacchaeus is one of those people who make a brief appearance in the New Testament. And all we know about him is that he had an experience with Jesus which made him clean up his life and get busy helping people. And when the New Testament speaks of salvation, that's what it really means. Together now, let us profess the faith that we all share. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Humbly now let us present to God our special petitions. For the church, that we may be instruments of God's mercy and forgiveness in the world today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they may work together to protect the environment and our common home, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are trying to discern God's call, that they may be blessed with wisdom and courage, 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from terminal illness, their families and their caregivers, that they may find comfort and hope, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our parishes who died during this past year, and for those who mourn them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God in heaven, we praise and thank you for the gift of salvation which you have given us in this life and which we will enjoy forever in eternity. We make this prayer in the Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, <laughs> Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ your Son. For by his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, come again. again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, 
his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Paul and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of Christ be with you always. Your Let us share with those around us a sign of peace. Peace to Thank you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Blood of Christ.
Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your head and pray for God's blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in his peace and grant you the gifts of his blessing. Amen. Amen. May he free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in his love. Amen. Amen. So that on this life's journey, you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.